So tonight, um, the film explores belief, the abilities of the human body, so many themes. Talk about what really drove you to make this story happen. You know, I think I, I like that mixture of, you know, entertaining but talking about important things and, and provoking philosophical conversations and, you know, also our artistic conversations. What, what did you just see? What was that? Uh, you know, does it mean this? Does it mean that artistically? But also philosophically that, and maybe this is stuff that just sits in you, but that you come away from, from these movies and there's, there's a little bit of religion in it. And by, by that I don't mean like orthodox religion, but like philosophy and things that you believe in. Now, James really brought his A-game to this. Um, talk about his reaction mm. to the script and to the different personalities and challenges he, he was going to face. I'll tell you, it was a little, little funny story. So I sent him the script, he was in London. I sent it, uh, I sent it to him and then he, he sent me an email and said, Which, what's my character's name? And then I sent a very you know, ambiguous email back and said, just read it, dude, just read it. And he was like, huh? That's really strange that he didn't tell me what my character's name is. Well, because you're all the characters. <laughs> and so it was funny. And then he immediately sent back an email when he finished. It, I remember getting the email, and it was just like curse words, like excitement and curse words, like, ah. Uh. And then uh, we got on a Skype, and he just was so on point. He so, was so connected to the movie and the character, and he was so, I could see it, how excited he was about this opportunity and how much he understood what this disorder was and how to play it, you know, both the poignancy of it but how to entertain at the same time. Um, I was super, just super lucky. I mean, it's a dream. You, you want to have that feeling every movie that the perfect person just walked in and, and got the role. Now you have two really amazingly strong female characters yes. in this as well. Talk about casting mm -hmm. Dr. Fletcher and Casey. You know, it's really important uh, it's something of an instinct of mine to, to write very strong female characters, um, probably because I have only daughters, and so my house is only like it's only girls in the house all the time. I'm like the only boy, um, and we even had a female cat for a while. It was like there's no, there's nothing but girls in the house. So my point of view is I feel very very strongly about that female point of view and, and want to write it and honor it properly, um, and so I I I I also feel like. There's a certain age that that you know Hollywood doesn't allow to act anymore, and so there's these world class actors that you could grab, and they'll they'll come and they'll, they'll blow the screen away. And Betty Buckley is one of them, and I've used her twice. I'm also a big theater theater actor director. Like I love directing theater actors. It's really my my secret weapon is to take take actors from the theater and then put them in movies. Both James and and Betty have won Best Actor Best Actress awards on on stage. So Betty Buckley plays Dr. Fletcher, and uh, she's just vivacious and opinionated, and you know, full of light and and very very specific, and like you know, her, all, her, all she's a very physical actor as well. I just love it. And then on the other side of the spectrum, I love to work with new actors, actors like. And when I work with kid actors, I've tried to find that kind of bright light actor that that walks in the room, and they are just incapable of being inauthentic. That that human being. And Anya Taylor Joy uh, walked in the room and she owned the part the second she she did it. I didn't know she was in any movie. She just kind of auditioned for me. And The Witch hadn't come out, and, and none of the movies that she's in now have ever come out. Didn't come out at that time. So for me, she was just a girl that auditioned. Um, super lucky to have this cast. Three of them are brilliant. 